Hello all. Today I want to quickly show you how to do ping to the Palo Alto firewall. So on our in our lab, uh, I have set up the Palo Alto firewall. It has the basic policy setup. It has the routing. I can ping through the firewall, but I am unable to ping firewall interface. So let's quickly have a look how you enable it and how you set up the Palo Alto firewall. So you can ping. Uh, the internal interfaces, for example, obviously you don't want to allow it on the outside interface, but the internal one for the troubleshooting or monitoring, how do you enable it on a, on a Palo Alto firewall? Let's quickly have a look at our Palo Alto firewall. I have set up basic rule, which says from LAN to WAN, any, any, any application. Also, there is a um, default rule, which says the intra zone, so the traffic to the in zone and back should be allowed. But when I have a look at my test machine, so this is the test machine here on the LAN pinging the firewall, which is on the 10.10.10.1. Let's see if that works. And we have a timeout. So quickly, let's quickly have a look why is that. So on a Palo Alto firewall, if you want to ping the interface, what you need to do is the setup management profile for that interface. So let's have a look at the interfaces which are under the network interfaces. And so this is our LAN interface, which sits on 10.10.10.1, uh, exactly as we try to ping. If I open, now the interface is open, uh, get a refresh. And under the advanced option, we see the management profile is none. And if I do a drop down menu, there is nothing, nothing configured here. If I cancel out of the interface configuration, as with any other Palo Alto configuration, you can configure it directly from the interface itself and you can create the management profile there. But let's have a look where is it in the configuration. So under the same tab, so network, if you scroll down to management profiles and find the interface management. Now, there is no default or any other configuration. I will just click add. Now I can call my management profile, whatever I want. I will just call it a pink. And now you can set up the protocol from which, oh, sorry, the protocol which you want to use for the, for the interface. So, you have a protocol like HTTPS, download SSH, if you want to manage the device on its LAN interface, for example, and the network services like ping, SNMP, USAID, and so on. So I just want to ping. And also you can set up the permitted IP addresses. If you set up just the ping, you would be able to ping it from any IP address on your LAN infrastructure. Or even if you have a routing in place, you, you will be able to ping it from a different uh, subnets if you have multiple subnets on a on the LAN side. For me, I have only one subnet, but I will show you how to add or permit the subnet. So my subnet on a LAN is 10.10.10.0/24. That seems to be right. I click OK. Now, if I go back to interfaces, click my LAN interface. Now the interface opens. Let's give it a second to refresh. Going back to advance. Under the management profile, now if I drop down, I should see my ping profile. So like that. Click OK. And now the last thing is to hit commit. Comment the configuration. While we're waiting for the commit, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It will help me to grow it. Now let's wait for the commit to finish. Now, uh, configuration was committed successfully. So that's complete. Close the window. We can see for the RLN interface, we have the management profile now assigned ping. Let's try to ping to the firewall again yes and the firewall is responding so this is how you set up the ping to the firewall itself 
So it's not in the policies, but it's under the management profile. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.